Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This is your Harvest Full Moon reading for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it with an Oracle card message. It's October 1st, 2020. How are my Leos doing out there? Comment down below. Are you feeling this full moon energy? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> anyway, I watch too many cartoons. How are my Leos feeling for the next 72 hours? Whoa, okay. Everyone's cards have been flipping out in like seconds. Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Number 16, you can break that down to a seven. Virgo got this. Either some Virgos got a lot of Leo in their chart or vice versa, there could be cuspers watching this. Virgo, Leo, cuspers, or Leo, Virgo, cuspers, I mean. Sun, paint the sun back into your sky. Number 11, master number. All right. The portal as well. Do you see that? It's like you speaking your truth, you standing up for yourself, actually paints the sun back into your sky. Once you stand up for yourself, you take that match and you light it and you put the, you put the light back into your life here. Crazy. How I just noticed that. All right, this is meant to be a quick reading, so let me stop chit-chatting and get into it. For my Leos, I almost said Virgo. Okay. By the way, I am a Leo Virgo, oh, yeah, Leo Virgo cusper. So this is as much of a reading for me as it is for you. We have the devil, Capricorn. You could be dealing with one that have a strong in your chart. The emperor, Aries. Hope that's not too dark right now. Because the sun is setting, so I apologize for the camera quality and lighting. And we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you start off with two major arcana and then the bad bitch card. <laughs> Overall, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, okay, okay. You could be dealing with a Capricorn who is a boss or, as I see it, there's some type of boss or matriarch of the family or some type of leader, business owner who's very toxic. And you got to stand your ground and be very blunt with this person, Leo. And that is why I get stand up for yourself. There's someone trying to bully you. And I'm seeing this as another match. You relighting that childlike, sparky, outgoing, creative, fiery match within you. You could be doing all this for a fire sign child. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this person could charade themselves as this emperor, this Aries, this hard person who's in control, and they're really a child. They're very childish. I'm seeing this person as very attached for some reason with this devil energy, fears, addictions, enslavement, codependency, attachments. But it's like you're cutting them loose with this queen of swords. You're speaking your truth very blunt it's like you're open to receiving and working things out with this person but you're not getting you're not allowing them to get over on you you're cutting them off you're very much in your feminine i see you taking con uh, control or charge of things it's like you're really focused on getting things done creating things could be creating a business yeah See, clarifying the devil is the Nine of Wands, Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Wounded Warrior card about perseverance. You're standing your ground. It's like you have your guard up, you have a fence up, but you also have a staff. Like, don't try me. So it's like the cage that this person tried to put you in and trap you in, you broken all those bars and created a fence. So you set yourself free and now you're ready to whoop that ass. <laughs> I've been cursing a lot today. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, for those of you who this is a father, it's like that cage was around you as a child and you got older and you broke out, like you moved out. And now you're like totally different from the rest of the family and this person has been using all their resources to try to control you. But you're like, no, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> like samurai chop. And with the emperor, you're reevaluating your investment in this relationship in this person. Or this person trying to do that with you. They may give you an allowance of some kind. 
And with this Queen of Swords, with the Six of Cups, I'm still this nostalgic, past, childlike energy. I'm getting that this is like father, daughter. This could be father, son, mother, son, whatever. This is like a family dynamic. This person could just be older than you. Hmm. And the roles can be reversed. I'm seeing at one point, and with soulmates, we have a lot of soulmates in life. Your child could be a soulmate, an animal could be a soulmate, a friend could be a soulmate. This was once a lovely dynamic, a lovely union, but now it's become toxic. With the overall energy being the fool, there will be a new beginning, whether you decide to stand your ground and stay in this and work it out with this person or move along. There is possibility for, there will be a new beginning. Someone is set free here in this new cycle. Let's see what's beneath the surface. Oh yeah, the higher font, higher commitment here, judgment. So this could be a marriage and someone standing their ground on it. Either way, there's something very toxic about a union and someone's not standing for it anymore. There will be a new beginning here. All right, Leo, that is your reading for the next 72 hours. And if it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.